So let's talk about Fortnite. When you start playing the game, so the first time that I played the game was back in 2018, amazing game, one of the best ever, in, in the prime, maybe the best game. But when you don't know shit about the game, when you literally don't know how to aim, how to build, how to do anything, you do more repetitions, isn't it? You have an assault rifle and you just fire all, like the full clip without even realizing. When you have a lot of material, you just build stuff without even knowing what to build, you know, how to build a great base and then camp for the rest of the game. You just build, you just aim, you just shoot, you just, you know, you just go there, you just engage in battle, you have a shotgun, you literally spam like, poof, 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 like you miss every single shot. You do repetitions. The more you play, the more comfortable you get using a weapon, building stuff, and then eventually you see that your shots have become more like purposeful. Like you just, like, you just you don't use a shotgun and then just boom, 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 like aim everywhere. No, you just, you wait for a guy, maybe if he's, if he's jumping left and right, you maybe wait until he lands, then you boom, you, you land the headshot and boom, one shot, that's it, he's done. You saved ammo, it was sufficient, you didn't uh, waste time, and you was patient. I noticed that there's a shit ton of people contemplating how should I train and what is the best training style. That they, they, they ask these questions. Like it, it's it's so stupid. You ask Sebum or any other fitness influencer who is working out for 10 plus years and you ask them like hey, what's the best training routine? And they give you a legit answer. Like, hey, I do 14 reps for this one and then 13 reps for this and then a couple with one superset. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all guys who are beginners and girls who are beginners are like, yeah, that's the shit. I'm, I'm, I'm start doing that. And then you have like, hey, train as intensively as possible. Maybe even like, you know, going to the realm of ego lifting even. It's dumb. I believe, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm basically doing what I just was shitting on. I, I will give you advice. I believe that if you're a beginner, if you, if you just started working up, if, if you, you know, don't know shit about the gym, your form is terrible. You, you don't know how to contract the muscles. You, you work on your back, but you don't, even, you don't even feel the back. You just feel your forearms and biceps. I say, that you should do more repetitions, more time in the gym, more days in the gym, and just more sets and more reps without pushing to failure. Is this the best way to build the muscles? Probably not. I mean, I have this idea that if you're a guy who just goes to the gym and does five sets of 15 reps, you're training for endurance. I'm sorry, but you're literally training for endurance. What is endurance? It's enduring something over a longer period of time. So if you're a guy who can do five sets of 15 reps, you're enduring that pain essentially. You're not getting stronger, which is kind of the point. Like, have you ever seen a guy who got stronger but not bigger? I mean, you can make the same point about endurance, but it just doesn't hold the water for me. And I'm sure that many of professional guys would agree that if you're a beginner, if you're like maybe two years deep into training and you have solid form, you're, you know how to contract the muscles, you have great mind muscle connection, that it's better to use heavier weights and lower reps with higher intensity than maybe more rest, especially if you're natural. But let's let's bring back the beginners in this, uh, in this conversation. So beginners. I think that first and foremost, what you need to do is know how to contract the muscles. See, form, yeah, form is great, but how do you expect an, a beginner to learn a proper form? How do you expect a guy who goes to the gym for five plus years to have a perfect form? It's 
it's pretty hard, especially if you're like on the last rep. I'm not gonna push the last rep like this. Of course not, like, I will be like, grunting, like my hands shaking, like the fall will be terrible, but I'm gonna push through it. That's on the last rep, the last few reps. You cannot expect a beginner to learn a proper form, but what you can expect a beginner to learn is to how to contract the muscles in the right way and how to use mind-muscle connection. See, if his elbow is not at 45 you know, degree, whatever, but when he's at the top on, with his hands, he can feel his muscle. He can actually feel his upper chest, the thing that was lacking for the most of his life. I see that as an improvement, even with slightly bad form, because he has to understand how to contract the muscles first, how to use mind-muscle connection, because the point of working out is to feeling, is to feel the muscle that you're about to work. When you're doing lats and you, you know, you do lat pull down maybe with one hand, you, you can feel the muscle working. You can, you can actually feel it. But when you're starting out, you don't know shit. And another reason why I think that beginners should spend more time in the gym in terms of reps, sets, and just overall hours in the gym is you can't really expect them to do a great workout with lower reps and high intensity. Why? I'm now almost two years deep into the gym, but I've been working out inconsistently, I might, uh, have to say. It was what? It was like the middle of 2019. So like four, four and a half years right now, I've been working out, but almost two years consistently, like day in, day out. And you cannot expect a beginner to have the same workout as me with low reps and higher intensity. Why? I can contract my muscles better I have better mind muscle connection. I know what I'm doing. I've been working out for longer, so my form is better. And I know how to not injure myself and not ego lift like a maniac. So if you put me in a beginner and we have like an intense, intense training with low reps, he's probably gonna injure himself and he's not gonna build any muscle because he will just be moving weight. You see someone who is lifting weights, lifting heavy weights, and someone who is just moving weights, and it looks terrible. It's like still on, on a light pull down, and you're like using all of your momentum, all of your momentum. You're not even feeling the muscle, you, you don't feel anything. You're just moving the weights as quickly as you can, not even like contracting at the end, and then like maybe staying there for like a couple of seconds, and then slowly doing like an eccentric movement. You're not even doing that. So. Basically, that, that, that's what a beginner will do. So, spend more time in the gym if you're new to the gym. The best way to learn something in the beginning is to do more reps. Let's say you're a salesman. Do you really expect to make three phone calls per day and then close two deals out of those three? And then go home? Probably not. Probably on the first call, it will shit your pants. On the second call, you will probably forget the line that you were supposed to say. And the third call, you will probably avoid and go for a coffee break. So what you can do is make 100 calls and fuck up 75 times. And then the last 25, you actually do something. And then on your 100th try, you close a deal. Then a week later, you can do 75 calls and close a deal. Then you can do 50 calls and close a deal. Then eventually after one year, you can make those three calls and probably close one or two deals because you're an experienced salesman and you're actually working with, with, with high, you know, high quality clients. Same thing you can apply to the gym. You're working with higher, with, you know, higher like weights. You're working with heavier weights, but you know how to work with them. So you don't have to use much of the volume, much of the momentum to get the deal done, to get the reps in, to feel the muscles. If that makes sense. 
you know, that always made sense to me. I, I was actually shitting on myself because I spent six days in the gym just last winter, like a year ago, when I had this book and I was doing, like, bro, two, two, uh, I, I was doing deadlift two times, squat two times, bench two times in a week and just one rest day. And just pushing to fucking failure all the, like, I was doing everything, like 12 reps, 15 reps, eight reps, like, I was, I, was, I was doing everything. But now that I realized, like, that was necessary. That was necessary. Just to learn, just to, you know, go through that period of time and think to myself, like, yeah, that's okay, but it probably wasn't the right move. Now I know it wasn't the right move. Uh, now I know it was the right move, sorry. Because I learned something from it. That's the difference. And now my training routine is completely different. Like it's maybe 45 up to an hour per, per, per day. Three to four times per week. Basically doing two sets. One, you know, for eight reps. And then the other one until failure. It's great. I'm noticing great changes. My chest is improving, which has been my you know, weakest point for for years, it's finally improving. I'm I'm actually like the same body fat that I was just a few months ago when I was seven kilograms lighter, which is insane in my opinion. And yeah, I'm getting these crazy results, but I don't think I could have gotten those crazy results if I didn't know how to contract the muscles right, if I didn't have my muscle connection. Like I'm working a set and I can actually feel the muscle working and then you know you feel the tension then you go slowly down you just I don't know how to explain it you just you just get the feeling after working out for so long and I can only imagine how great that my muscle connection will be in a year in two years in five years you know when I'm still working out but I'm still active but I'm, when I'm still young and I'm just you know, I can feel the every single muscle even when I'm walking even when I'm you know doing this with my hands and, you know, I started taking the course and uh, about ma massaging people and all that stuff. And I'm learning about anatomy, uh, which will definitely you know, help me understand more about just the human body. You can implement that. Like, there's so many good things to do. And off topic, but you just get slightly better with everything as the years go by. So last winter, I was doing cold showers after every single workout. Not realizing that it's actually damaging my progress because, I mean, I've said this a million times, but you just reduce the inflammation that you just cause by working out, by applying cold water on your body. I'm not doing that anymore. So another thing is I stretch more. Uh, I have, I, I learned exercises for uh, in, improving my lower back. I learned the exercise for improving my hurdle, for improving all that stuff. I can push heavier. I'm much more smarter about my body. I know my body. So if I'm feeling a little bit of pain, if I'm feeling a little bit of down, a little bit of shit, I may, you know, put instead of 185 on a deadlift, I will put 175 or 180 just so I don't injure myself. I'm much more clever about how I choose my workouts. And if the machine is maybe stack with people and you know people are literally waiting in a line to use the machine i will just use something else but i will you know I, I, you can you can you can maybe get what i'm saying you just know how to deal with your own body and that's an amazing feeling so but but the only way you can do that is by first doing repetitions there's a great quote that i have on my wall by alex Ramosi, which is volume negates luck which means the more you do the luckier you, you know, and some say, oh, you're lucky. No, you're not lucky. You just did it for a thousand times and then you just got better at it. Same thing with these videos. Like if, oh, I'm scared of being a YouTuber. I'm scared of posting on YouTube. I was the same. I was the same. I was scared of what would people say. I was scared of, oh, how, how will my life turn out? How will I speak in front of a camera? Now it's just like a second nature to me. It's like, you just, yeah, you just set up a camera. You just talk, just post a video, like no pressure at all. You just get better at it. But that's after more than 120 videos. So you just get better at it. And th th that's the whole point of, of life. You just do more repetitions on everything that you want to improve on. Then boom, like you just get better. Wow, who would have thought? So yeah, no more, uh, no more talk. I believe I made my point.
clear, I made myself clear about how should beginners train. But I always say, find something that is good to, good for you. You know, you can try and do low, low, uh, low volume and high intensity if you're a beginner. You can do a high volume, low intensity. You, you can do whatever. You can basically feel yourself. You can feel how you respond to a different type of workouts and ju just choose what's better for you. But in my opinion, if you can learn how to contract the muscles and get the mind muscle connection going, that's a skill. Like, like that's a skill in and of itself. And that will be vital point for your future, you know, journey in the gym and in working out and building muscle. So yeah, without further ado, I'm about to end this and yeah, keep working hard and I'm proud of you.